Hey guys, so we're currently working our way through making a Space Invader game in Thunkable. So at the moment, if you followed me through the first two tutorials, then you should have something that looks a little bit like this. We can move our player using the, uh, using the slider down the bottom. We can shoot lasers by pressing our big shoot button there. What we cannot do yet is we can't actually make the lasers destroy the aliens and the aliens aren't attacking us either. So let's go and try to do that now. Um, something I should mention, I'm doing a really basic version of Space Invaders here at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the aliens just to move down at us just slowly like that. I'm not going to do the whole beep, beep, beep. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that with them. If that's something you want to do, absolutely go nuts. But yeah, I'm not going to do it here. Um, something else, the aliens aren't going to fire at us. We're not going to have the like little things to hide behind like we usually do in Space Invaders. This is really more of a teaching tool than a really full-blown, really awesome, actually fun game. So make any and all adjustments that you want to make. It won't be too hard to make uh, little things to hide behind. So that could be a cool first thing for you to add after all this. Okay. Now, making the aliens die. That'll be f easier to do first. If we get the lasers working to destroy the aliens first, that'll be easier than trying to do that after they can actually move. So let's do that. Okay. Now, in our canvas events, We've got a really helpful block, really helpful. When a type collides with another type, I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to say when the laser type collides with the alien type, which is pretty great. That's exactly what we want. When a laser hits an alien, we're going to destroy both of them. We're going to destroy both of them. So in add and remove, we're going to remove collide one and make sure you get collided to that as well. Okay, when a laser hits an alien, we're gonna destroy both of them. Such a simple block. This really makes this fairly simple. And that is pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. Smooth, elegant, perfect. Okay, cool. The next thing we need to do is make the aliens come at us. So there's a few different ways we can do this. The easiest one is probably just going to be this. In the canvas events, I'm going to get when the canvas loads. So when the game actually starts up, we're going to do something. That something is going to be going through the list of every alien and making it set at speed. So in this, um, oh, it's in control. That's right. Up in the control section, we've got lots of different control structures. So we've got our if statements, we've got our infinite loops. We've got a set number of loops that it does it 10 times. It's got counting loops, uh, which are your, standard for loops in most languages. And here we've got a for each. Now, this is such a powerful loop, like they're very helpful. And it's specifically excellent in this case because we can go through and for each item in the list, we're going to do the same function. So in add and remove, you may have already noticed that there's one block that we haven't used there yet and it is all sprites in type now it is already in alien type and that's perfect because that is the one that we want to use we want to loop through every alien in our game and we're going to set it up so that they're going to set their speed to be coming towards us okay set something's Y speed, I'm going to set it to be minus 
50. I've again I've no idea if 50 is the right number we're just gonna have to see oh also it's not minus 50 because minus 50 would be moving up the screen plus 50 moves down the screen okay make sure that's right now instead of it being setting sprite 5's y position we need it to be setting uh, go into variables we're gonna get J so for each item J in list of aliens so I'll explain what that really means we're gonna go through the list of aliens whatever alien we're currently on is called J so if I'm working on my first alien at the moment that is currently J I'm done with that one I'm gonna make the next one be J and set that so that is how we refer to each individual item in the list while we're looping through okay let's hit live test and see if that magically works. Didn't work. Why didn't it work? Okay, after a bit of testing, I just realized that I'd made a bit of a mistake earlier. So, I was under the belief that the everything would work if the aliens were static that's not the case so what you need to do is you need to make sure that you unselect is static make sure is static is false and then hopefully if you just flick that off on the sprite type then it'll send that off to all of the sprites as well so you can see they're the all mine and i promise i only flicked it off on the sprite type so hopefully that's all good now that I didn't need to use. Okay, when the canvas one loads, we're going to go through a list with each item in it being J through the loop. So we're going to go through every alien and set their Y speed to be 20 or whatever you decide on. I went with 20, can be anything that you like. So hit live test, then hopefully. Yay, it's working. Cool, cool. I've got it shooting stuff. That is all of the gameplay working. Now, the only last two things we need to do are to actually make it a fun game. The first part is going to be when the aliens reach the bottom or the ship, you lose. The other part, when you destroy all the aliens, you win. I'll do that in the next video. Thanks.